more than halfway down, I suddenly thought, I saw something. I turned to the others and I, I said, I don't know what I've got. It looks like a squashed comet. When the image was enlarged, the squashed comet proved even more intriguing. Like a string of pearls, somebody said. Much clearer pictures were sent back by the newly repaired Hubble telescope from its orbit clear of Earth's atmosphere. They enabled scientists to work out what they were looking at. A train of 20 or more huge rocks, some the size of Earth mountains, hurtling towards the mass clouds of Jupiter. Scientists predicted explosions of incalculable magnitude. If you detonated all of the nuclear bombs that existed on Earth before uh, the strategic arms limitations started dismantling some of them, if you detonated all of those all at once, that doesn't, that doesn't faintly approach the size of the explosions that take place on Jupiter. Astronomers deduced that two years ago, one of the many comets orbiting the Sun strayed too near to Jupiter, and the planet's gravity tore it apart. The largest fragments, they estimated, were about five kilometers across, and they'd impact Jupiter on the side away from the Earth. Computer graphics suggested it would look like this. When Jupiter turned, it showed the damage. Impact marks the size of Earth. Astronomers say analysis will reveal many of Jupiter's secrets. One way of finding out about Jupiter's atmosphere is to give it a jolly good push, okay? And having a comet fall into it and stir everything up from below and expose all the middle and so on is a good way of finding out how Jupiter works. Massachusetts Institute of Technology produced computer models of what would happen. The comet's pieces will plunge down underneath the clouds, these beautiful ammonia clouds that are on the surface, plunge down underneath and finally just give up and explode and all of that hot heated gas will rise up and then it'll fall back down and you'll get, just like throwing a rock into a pond, you'll get this big splash and then the slower ripple. The space satellite Galileo alone could watch the impacts as they happened, but the pictures won't be seen for months. Artists think this is what they'll show of what scientists have called the cosmic event of a lifetime.